Welcome. In this video, we want to see how we can integrate this one by substitution. So when they tell you to integrate something by substitution, what you do is you make one of the functions to be u. Then you use it to change the variables from x to u. So here, we have to struggle to identify, because we have this function and we have that function. So one of them should be u. So which one are you going to choose to be your u? Normally, it's something that will appear like this to the power maybe 3. Uh, something that will appear like a uh, square root, then we have 1 over square root there, or e to the power something. These are the guys that you are going to make to be your u, okay? These guys, you are going to choose them. They are the ones that you choose to be your u. So from here, we can clearly see that we have something that appears like this. It may not be 3, we may have the power maybe of 5. Anything that appears like that, these are the guys that you make to be your u. Then you use that u to manipulate and change the variable of integration from x to u. So let's do just that. So we've said our in x is the one that we are going to make to be u. So what this means is we can now change everything to u. So our integration becomes this one. Integral 1 over x multiplied by u to the power 3. We are integrating with respect to x. So once you replace u on one of these guys, you have to use that u and change dx and simplify the other x so that you remain with u and integrate in u. Okay, so we, we, we have u equal to in x, we have to find dx. We can only find it if we differentiate this one with respect to x, so du over dx, this will be equal to, when we differentiate this one, we get 1 over x. The next thing that we do from here, we need to make dx the subject so that we can remove it. So this will be, will be uh, if we try to make dx the subject, we are going to have x du is equal to dx. So whenever there is dx, I'll put this statement in this one. So we are, our integral looks like this now. Integral of 1 over x, u to the power 3, multiplied by dx, but you know dx is this one, x du. Okay, so at this point, we can uh, now simplify this one. Okay, we can simplify this. Then this will be integral of 1 over u to the power 3, then du. But if you remember, uh, if we have uh, the denominator here, we can take it out so that now we can use the power rule to integrate. We can take this one out, but every time we take it out, the power becomes negative. The power will change its sign if we take it out like that. So this will be equal to integration of u to the power negative 3 with respect to u. Now here, we can use power rule there. We can use power rule. So this is going to be, we increase the power by one. So we're going to have uh, u to the power negative three plus one, divided by negative three plus one, then plus the habitual constant. Every time you're integrating without limits, you have to come and add a c. So this would be equal to, u to the power negative 2 over negative 2. Now I can push this one down if I want. This is going to look like this. This is going to look like this. This will be equal to 1 over negative 2, then u to the power 2. If you push again the power down, if you push this, this guy down here, the power will change from negative to positive. Even when you move it from there, you take it upwards, the power changes sign. But we know the value for we know the value for u, so we can depress it back. Our u was equal to this, so this becomes one over negative two. Then uh, in uh, in x, then uh, to the power three. Everything plus c. So this will be our integration of this one using u substitution. So normally when you're given to integrate something using u substitution, always make sure that uh, 
those guys that are looking like this, they are the ones that you make your deal. Then manipulate the other statements containing x so that you remain up with a function only made up of u and d. Then you can integrate using power rule. Okay? But every time you are integrating indefinitely, you have to come and hide a c when you're done your integration. And later on, don't forget to uh, replace back a value for u because we said our u is equal to this, then we can replace it here wherever there is you after we are done with our integration. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you.